All right, shifting gears. Well, still staying on the Caddis. Um, go to one of my patterns that I came up with, and there's nothing out there on the inner webs for on how to tie this pattern. And I don't know if there's a lot of uh, many people that know about this pattern. It's called the Kryptonite Caddis. Um, you guys heard of it? Seen it? Maybe. I'll show it to you today. Um, I have not done a video on it, just a little harder to do as far as the video goes. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, what, it, what it does is it uses um, amnesia as the body, and it's a, it's a unique looking pattern. It's a little bit different than anything out, out there right now. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. So this is uh, 15 pound amnesia in the green, okay? A lot of people use it for leaders or those type of materials for leaders or, or butt, butts, you know, the uh, ciders, that type of thing. So I'm going to show you how I do this. Um, what I do is I start with a piece of, of this. I'll straighten it out a little bit, just kind of pull on it. Now, if you have a regal vise, it makes it easier. Okay. I just put that in my vise so I have a straight piece here. Um, my buddy, Tim Flagler, he does tight line production. He, you've probably seen his videos on, um, he does a ton of videos. He's based out of New, New Jersey. Um, I showed him this pattern because it, he did a midge with kind of the same idea. Uh, and that's where I got the idea for this, but I just changed it up. So you gotta have a, a lubricant to, to make this work, being soap and Irish spring is, it's pretty good. Okay. So with that, I'm just sliding that down on that just to get a little bit on there. And this is a little longer than normal, but that's okay. So we're going to make overhand knots 14 times. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that at all on the camera. But there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, okay? So that's what I end up with right there. Can you guys see that? Now, that's where the soap comes in because otherwise I'd be stuck. So I just want everything to kind of line up and I want that to seat just like that. Can you see that okay? So that's my knot. So this is kind of a time consuming pattern in a way because what I do next is there's a production line that you have to create these. If you create them one by one, you'll, you know, you'll be tying forever. Um, so I'll cut this all the way down to there, okay? And then this piece I can cut however long. So that's kind of, I'll tie a bunch of these and set them to the side, just go through and make a bunch of them, okay? So that's what my body is right there. The only other thing I'll do and I use a UV resin that's thick, a thicker formula, but just since I'm here, I'm gonna use this bone dry and put a little bit on there just to coat that. All right, so that's, that's that. And then cure it. And this is a little thinner, so it's, it, you don't want it to sag too much. So I'm just gonna hit it right there, okay? So that's, you can see how bright that is, right? So I'll do a bunch of these bodies just like so. Okay, and I'll pass this around. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna jump forward here in a little bit, but I'll pass this around. So when I do the thick on a bunch of these bodies, I have to hit it with nail polish because uh, it's a little more tacky with the thick loon that I use. Um, so I have to use uh, nail polish just because I'm handling these a little bit more than normal. So what I'll do next, and I won't, I won't do it here, but I will cut about right there and make a lot of these little tiny bodies, okay? I'll give this to you guys, you can check that out. But I'm gonna jump forward. Um, the first time I sat down, I tied this fly, that's what I ended up with. And it was just like, never happened uh, before, or probably never sent uh, after that. So, the normal hook is a scud hook, your standard scud hook, size 16, size 18. Tungsten bead on it. But 
I have since my for my personal flies switched gears and switched over to a fire hole hook, which um, my buddy Joe Mathis, uh, he's he's the guy behind fire hole hooks, and he sent me a few hooks, and he sent me these um, 637s in size 18s, and um, I got them, and they're really short and stubby and just kind of weird, and I didn't know what to do with them, so one day I just threw a bead on there and said, I'm going to try it tie a kryptonite on those and um, that's my new hook with the scud hook I'll, I put uh, you know tungsten bead on there and then I put the black holographic material down and back up because it had so much of that iron showing that I wanted that to get covered up well with this one it's more of a it's almost a straight straighter shank on it so it's showing less of the iron so at this point I'm I'm not too concerned with having to put the black holographic material on there. And so that's one less step. And guess what? When you do one less step, it's a lot easier, right? And so it doesn't, and the, the hooks are kind of nickel black, so it, it's not bronze like the scud hooks are. Which, which hook was it? 716? Uh, 7, 637, 637 yeah. Size. 18. Yeah. And there's some smaller hooks now, I think, in that series i haven't tried them yet i don't believe and i tied these for royal gorge anglers and could not keep up a couple things i've learned is um if you use black a dot thread i was splitting my thread i'll show you here in a little bit how i do that but i was splitting it inserting cdc in it then i realized that i could use the vivas 16 knot which is corded double corded kind of and I'll show you here in a little bit what I mean by that. So when I cut those stems down, let's, I tuck those, you know, I'll put some thread on there. I'll tuck those un, into the bead. I'll actually hit them with super glue before I do that. And then tuck them under and into the bead somewhat and then wrap over with thread. That way it locks it in there a little bit better. And it's fairly stiff. See that? Now, once I come in here, I gotta remember how to tie this fly because I haven't tied it for a while. Um, it's fairly simple at this point. You gotta have the right materials though. Like in this case, I'm gonna do the standard, which is, is CDC wing and uh, hair's ear collar. And what you gotta do is you gotta find the right CDC. And I, you know, this stuff, this is the Trout Hunter Premium CDC, the full, the natural done. It's good stuff, really good stuff. And what I do is I go through and I'll find the, the longer individual uh, CDC feathers that have full plumes on them, okay? So once I find that, I got, you know, I have this, which is a full CDC. I only need half of it. And Mark Pettigeen, he had this uh, really cool tool, little chip clip type thing. Uh, they're hard to find now. So, um, there's a new one that, uh, just came out. It's, uh, I can't remember who makes it. There's that one and there's another one that just, um, just recently got released. But anyways, you might have to look for that. They're, they're hard to get now, but they're just, they're pretty, they're hard to get because people are buying them. Fly Fish Food, um, Cheech and those guys, they, they just released a video recently on, it's a metal clip, but it's the same kind of idea. So what I want to do, grab that right here, and then you could probably tie it in and wrap it, but that's a little stiffer. So I'm going to put those fibers in there and then cut this out. So I got this in my chip clip, right? Oh, gotcha. So it's just in that chip clip there, All right? All right, while I'm doing this, my thread is, again, it's it's corded up. It's the 16 knot Vivas. And again, I'd have to split my thread, stick it in there, but I found with this thread, with it being two strands, see how that, when I untwist it, see how that opens up for me? So it's a lot easier splitting that 
because it's two strands already. Now, all I do is insert this clip in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. And lay that right there, open. And then I want this to twist up again. So that makes it a little bit easier for me to, a little quicker, okay? So again, just stroke those fibers back. And then the next thing I wanna do is a spiky or whatever you have for hairs here. You can do black if you wanted to. I'll do the light. And this one has a little, this is the crystal dub, which has a little bit of the um, flash in it. So it's gonna be a little more spiky. If you wanted to, you could insert that the same way I did that uh, CDC. Split your thread and uh, place it in between and then brush it, you know, wrap it, brush it out. But you can also dub it just, just like this. Now with the 16 knot thread, you gotta be a little more gentle. Can't crank on it as hard, but I just wanna get it behind that bead and then place that couple whip finishes in there underneath that bead. Okay. Now, the only other thing I do is I come in and I, I comb them out just a little, just to make it a little more buggy, just like this, okay? So again, those double whip finishes, if you pull one out right now, at least you still have one more, okay? So this thing, once you're here, you're done. Now, you can decide whether or not you want to clip these shorter, and I'll usually do that. But there's your kryptonite right there okay now the cool thing about this is that um, once you're here it looks pretty cool right but once you get it wet make sure nobody eats that once you get it wet it has a you know it has a ton of movement but it also again you can clip that down however short you want it to look and it gives it a different look to it okay so a lot more bugginess of CDC wing the legs are just gonna be you know kind of pushing around a little bit and um, really good pattern for when those fish are keyed in on caddis which can be any you know any time but on the Arkansas you know that April time frame that was that was um, a killer killer pattern okay what size was that um, well it's an 18 hook but you know, more like a 16-ish. You know, that's kind of the thing you got to deal with sometimes with those, um, with some of those fly patterns and the hooks and stuff. I'm tying a size 18, but it's really a 16. Same thing I mentioned in that Jedi Master. It's a size uh, 18 hook, but if you compare it to TMC, you know, it's going to be a 20, 21, something like that. So it's a little bit different. So you got to factor some of that stuff into that.